Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Sharma. In this session, we are going to discuss all those points which we need to look while selecting a RCM process. Okay, just think as a professional and just assume a scenario where you are supposed to select a RCM process for your organization. Okay, now what all points are there which we need to take care of, which we need to consider while selecting a RCM process. Okay. So this is the topic for today. What to look when selecting a RCM system. So we have noted down a couple of points here. One by one we will go through it, each point and we will understand the requirement like what are the factors that we should take care of while selecting the RCM or revenue cycle management system for our healthcare industry. Okay. So let's go to the next slide. The first point here is integration and compatibility. This is very important point. Why? Because it is our responsibility to ensure that RCM system seamlessly integrate with your electronic health record or practice management system. As we are dealing with the healthcare industry, so it is uh, understood that yes, we have some EHR, electronic health record. We have some practice management system. So your RCM system should be easily integrate with your existing EHR or practice management system then only it would be beneficial for you and it would be easy for adopt that RCM system second point uh, means here in the continuation it is written that compatibility is essential for smooth data flow and reduced manual effort efforts okay so let's say if you you want we are implementing the process because we don't want to uh, include some uh, manual operations right so in this case if you have if your system is compatible and smooth uh, if your system is compatible with your existing EHR and practice management system then it will surely reduce your manual input okay so this is the first point now we will move to the second point second point is functionality and feature evaluate the comprehensive feature of RCM system including patient registration eligibility verification claim processing denial management and payment posting the system should cover all the entire revenue cycle so we have already learned about the revenue cycle right we know each and every parameter of the revenue cycle so your Ex your new system which you are using should cover all these points like patient registration eligibility eligibility verification claim processing and denial management along with payment posting okay so this functionality should be with your system the new system which you are going to onboard then comes into the picture automation and capabilities look for a automation feature such as automated claim submission remittance, remittance advice processing and denial management automation reduces manual error accelerate processes and improve efficiency okay so we should always look at automation because we are going to implement everything every process element with some automation techniques right we don't want much manual uh, include manual task right because that's why we are going to implement this process so it should support automated claim submission remittance advance processing and denial management okay then only it will help us to reduce the manual errors and it will also accelerate the processes and also improve the efficiency so just assume a scenario we have a piece of work which we are taking five which we are supposed to complete in five days and it is taking five days now same thing if you are doing manually or you can say same thing if you are doing with automation system it will it would take only uh, two days maximum okay so you can see the difference if you are doing something uh, manually then it is taking five days time and if you are doing the same thing with two uh, with the automation system then it is taking only two two days right so this will for sure enhance your uh, efficiency along with it will also accelerate your processes reduce the manual efforts okay so automation capabilities also can should be considered while selecting the RCM process then comes into a picture claim management access the system ability to manage claims effectively 
it should support electronic claim submission real time claim status uh, tracking and provide tools for identifying and resolving claims rejections okay so your system the new system which you are going to adopt should support electronic claim submission real time claim status tracking let's say you are working on a system and that system is not providing you a track uh, you are it is not providing you a way to track your status then how you, we can identify whether the system is completed uh, the process is completed or not right so it should support real time claim status tracking mechanism along with that it should provide the tools for identifying and resolving the claim rejections let's say if there is any scenario where the claim rejection is processed okay so in that case it should identify like yes the claim has been rejected and also it should help in resolving that claim rejections then only it would be beneficial for our existing system okay so these are the four point which we have discussed and it should contain uh, it should be considered while selecting the rcm process then we have coding and compliance ensure the rcm system supports accurate medical coding because medical coding is very important factor in rcm process and compliance with the industry regulations it should facilitate icd10 and cpt code integration as well as update the compliant comply with changing healthcare regulation okay so your rcm system should support the icd10 cpd code integration and it should follow the proper norms and regulation provided by the industries then only it would be beneficial for us okay so coding and compliance is also very important factor in terms of uh, the points which we are uh, considering while selecting the revenue cycle management or rcm process then we have patient eligibility verification verify that the system has a robust patient eligibility verification feature this helps in confirming insurance coverage reducing claim denial due to the eligibility issues okay so you can see that it is our initial phase right so at the initial or at the beginning itself there should be some features provided by the system that will help us in eligibility verification fee okay it should con because if you have eligibility verification feature then is then it would help you in confirming insurance coverage reducing claim denials and uh, which is caused by the eligibility issues so there should be a robust system for that okay then comes into the picture of uh, reporting and analytics very important thing why because there should be some re robust reporting and analytic capabilities are essential for monitoring and improving revenue cycle performance so there should be robust reporting and analytic uh, capabilities capabilities with your system because this will help us to monitor and to improve the revenue cycle performance so that's why we should look for a system that provide customizable reports kpis which is key performance indicators and analytics tool you know that rcm is helping us in research or uh, field also that's why it should support it should provide proper reports because by uh, by working through the reports itself we will identify whether the rcm process uh, is providing the proper outcomes or not if there is something wrong then what is the what is uh, the reason behind that how we can improve our performance okay so therefore whenever we are selecting the rcm system it should uh, it should uh, uh, provide the customizable report kpis which is key performance indicator and analytics tools because those tools will help us to identify whether everything is going in the good direction or not then we have a user friendly interface very important because at the end multiple people are going to use your system right medical coder will use my medical biller will use and many many other persons that are going to use that system so it should provide user friendly interface because it is crucial for efficient utilization of rcm system ensure that it is intuitive and easy to navigate and comes with a adequate training and support okay so your system 
UI should be easy to understand, easy to navigate. Let's say if any coder is working on your system, so he, he should not uh, put that much. He should not uh, need to put that much of effort to learn the UI of your system. It should be easy, right? He should be able to easily navigate. He should be able to understand the flow, right? So they, it should come with adequate training and support, and even training should be less. It it should not take uh, take that much of time to learn your system, and that only will that and that is possible only in those cases when you have easy user friendly interface. Okay, so yeah, these are the point. Now we have security and compliance. Security is very important factor in any case, right? Because security is very important and paramount in healthcare. The RCM system should comply with healthcare data security standards such as HIPAA to protect patient information and ensure regulatory compliance. So security is very important factor, right? Your system should be scalable. Consider the, consider the scalability of RCM system to accommodate the growth of your organization. It should be able to handle an increasing volume of transaction and adopt the changes in your practice size and structure okay so your system should be scalable then the next point is vendor reputation and support research the reputation of the RCM system and uh, look for a customer reviews very important thing we should look at customer reviews case studies and testimonials as well additionally inquire inquire about the vendor support service response time and ongoing updates and maintenance so these all are the point which is very crucial while uh, selecting the RCM system for your organization. Cost and ROI. ROI, you know that ROI is very important for whether you are working in a healthcare domain or any any kind of domain. It is important, right? So we should evaluate because here it is mentioned evaluate the total cost of ownership, including upfront cost, ongoing fees and potential potential hidden cost consider the roi in terms of improved revenue capture reduced claim denial and operational efficiency okay so these are the all point which we should take care while selecting a rcm cycle i hope it is clear to all of you and as we always do there is one question for all of you just read this question carefully and write down the answer in comment section that will also help you in identifying whether you are learning the concept or not because we are going to ask only those questions which we have covered so far okay and once you have uh, dropped your answer in the comment section i will check that answer and if it is correct i will pin those comments also i will take the name of those user who have constant consistently uh, giving the right answer so that will help not only you but for those also like let's say if someone is uh, going through this session and he is not aware of these challenges so he can quickly look at your comment section that yes someone has replied on this question and this is the correct answer so you are uh, indirectly helping others as well right so i always recommend you to keep uh, the answer posted in the comment section and we, it will also help you in your interview phase okay so i hope uh, today's session is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech share myth